I, um... I have to tell you something. What? I didn't give the tower to Frank. Yeah, I know. You need to find your sister, right? You did what you did. I just want to get my sneakers back. Right. First things first. Back? Were they stolen? The one? If you knew where your things were, why haven't you gone back to get them before now? So much work to do. I'll never finish it before winter. Crazy for Sound like a squirrel chatting in a tree. God, I hear clients. Yeah. No. This is just the beginning. See that opening? Apartment 216. Go look for a large red box with gold trim. That's where I stored my shoes. Aren't you coming with me? You're why my shoes are ruined. You get me new ones. Go inside, take the shoes, and leave. And don't touch anything else. Got it? Hey, look, you got me suspicious, Lawan. What's going on? Just go get him, would you? You climbed the fucking TV station tower. You can climb into an apartment. It depends on what's in there. I'm fine, chicken. <sighs> hmm. 
I'm inside. Don't touch anything. Just get those shoes. What's in here that's got you so spooked? Cool. <laughs> Wonder if it works. Our mixtape. Hmm. <laughs> this is I'm not like the little one I know. boots hmm it's a cozy place Sorry, I don't see a red box anywhere. You dope, you're not looking hard enough. There's another room, behind the plywood. Almost, almost happy. <clears throat> Pretty cozy nest. You shared it with someone. Does he still live here or? Nobody lives there. Just find the fucking shoes and stop asking dumb questions. Why'd you ditch it for that den at the fisheye? Cause that den is my home. I took all I needed with me. Except for the shoes, that is. Looks like they uh, spend a lot of time here. Vintage 2025. Small fortune in these bottles. your shoes great now get the fuck out of there oh but it's quite the love nest with the wine and the view and the music i mean i'm starting to see a whole new lawan here and you know what i don't blame this guy whoever he was for liking her fuck you aiden but I, I didn't lawan wait what god oh you bastard Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks. 
but bears it out, even to the edge of doom. Oh, shit, Luan! your feelings. Just meet me on my rooftop. Get there and wait for me. You can give me the shoes and then fuck off. Who figures you'd end up at the place you go when you're pissed off? Don't you get enough adrenaline fighting for your life every day? You know what they say. Adrenaline leads to either fight or flight. I definitely miss the flight aspect. As in running away? <laughs> no, dude. As in literally flying. These days, seemed only one person in this city could fly. Lawan. Then you showed up. Well, you're a paraglider? So why do you miss flying? I mean, you can still do it. I was a skydiver, actually. And that particular flavor of flying is what I miss. But it was getting hard to run around the city in a squirrel suit with virals on your back. So me and my team developed this ultra-light and practical paraglider you can use without any additional gear. The Night Runners instantly fell in love with it. Wanted to learn how to fly. So I set up a test track for them. Paraglider City Tour, we used to call it. I picked the perfect spot. Far from the VNC Tower, far from St. Paul's Cathedral, and far enough from the Missy so their lookouts didn't spoil the fun for us. How do people do? Eh, they mostly sucked. Except for Lawan. She took to it like a baby eagle falling from a nest. But I still hold the record. If you want to try and beat it, catch some flying thrills, be my guest. Just take the paraglider. It's so heartless and cruel. Hey, has someone hurt you? My son. I gave my whole life to him, and in my golden years, how does he repay me? By making life hell. In my own home. I couldn't take it anymore. So I left. Where will you go? Oh, I heard about an abandoned container nearby. It used to belong to the peacekeepers, but now it's empty. Well, it was empty. When I went to see it, infected were all over the place. Well, let's say I get rid of the infected for you. Would you do that? I'll pay you. Sure thing. Where can I find you afterwards? I'll go to the canteen. But any place is better than my hellhole of a home and my demon son. How can a son do this to his mother? I'm at the mercy of strangers. <clears throat>
The container is safe. Say what your mother has to endure in our ripe old age. Where is, where is Stop being so melodramatic. Are you not ashamed? Mom, listen to me. I'm gonna die lonely and forgotten. Mom, come home. I'm so worried about you. Is that stray you took in still there? Please don't talk like that about my future wife. Her name is Sylvia. You've known her for a week, and you're calling her your wife? What do you even know about her? I love her. More than your own mother? I must have been a terrible mother. You see, this nice young man promised to get me a container where I can live out my days alone. But, Mom! Quiet! Now, how did it go, my hero? Well, you can move in. Here is your well-earned payment. I could have left it to my son, but he deserves nothing. Please, talk some sense into her because I don't have the strength anymore. The children have to go their own way someday. Did you hear, Mom? If you want to leave because of Sylvia, then... I won't be stopping you. Cool. And you had such a kind look in your eyes. Will she be all right? I'll look after her somehow. After all, she's my mother. Thanks for helping her. Yeah, don't mention it. Good luck on your new path in life. God, I hear PKs were butchered in the VNC tower. I had a feeling it would end the same way as it did tonight. How you doing, pal? Ugh.
There was nothing worse than the infected. Today, I'm not so sure. Sneakers. You should also have this. I didn't realize you and Hakon had been together. Why do you think he's so high on my hit list? Yeah, that makes sense. Just because someone reads poetry doesn't mean they don't deserve to die. Did you guys break up because he abandoned Frank, or did he abandon Frank because you broke up? <sighs> There's really no point in analyzing that now, Aiden. Whatever happened, it was a mistake, okay? I should have never been so naive. That's why I didn't want you snooping around. For fuck's sake, you could have just respected that. I'm sorry. Forget we went there. Just leave me alone. The one, what's going on? You just don't give up, do you? <laughs> you should know that by now. You should know I fucking hate whimpering. Saying how you feel isn't whimpering. Fine. Stick around if you have to, but don't interrupt me. I'm busy. Getting drunk? No, you dork. Looking at the stars. Hey, I can see the Big Dipper. Hmm, aren't you brilliant? Except that's not the Big Dipper. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it was worth a try, though. You know any other constellations? Yeah. Frank taught me a lot about the night sky back in the day. We were building the fisheye, and I'd climb the scaffolding all the way up to the roof. Frank would come up to tell me it's too cold, too late, and whatnot. But he always ended up telling stories for hours and hours. And I love to listen. The stars are so clear, it would seem close enough. You could grab them by the balls. <laughs> Frank's way of putting it. Nice, huh? What about you, Aiden? And what about me? Do pilgrims get their hearts broken? Uh, well, I... We tend to... Just forget it. Wow. The shy type. Looks like your constellation is... Cygnus. She... what, miss? <laughs> there. Look. The swan. When I stargaze, I always find the swan first. You're making all this up to impress me. Maybe. Maybe not. Are you impressed? <laughs> Pretty much. So, did you meet Hakon when you were building the fisheye with Frank? He and Frank used to hang out with each other a lot. They were friends. It's a simple story, really. I was a young girl looking for attention. He didn't mind having his fun. The 
the good thing is, lesson learned for life. You still care, don't you? Otherwise, why make me go into the apartment? Yeah, I care, Aiden. About the person I am now. That's why I didn't want to go back there. So the weak little girl that lived there doesn't get the better of me anymore. I used to hate her. Now, I'm so over her. And that poem? It's just words, Aiden. Words mean things. Love's not time's fool. Though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks. Just words, huh? Yeah. Just words. Um, let's, uh, let's get some sleep. Aiden, if I see Hakon, I'm gonna kill him. Simple as that. Don't try to stop me. It's fine. But you know revenge doesn't make you feel better. This isn't for me. That's for Frank. I will avenge everyone who died that night. A lot of stars winked out forever. Hakon talks big. But when it came down to it, he bailed on his friends and they died. He showed his real face. Fucking coward. You can't turn back the clock. True. But I can stop his fucking clock. And I fucking will. Yeah. Good night, Aiden. Aiden. Aiden, you there? Where are you? I'm here, yeah. The one? Well, I'm glad you're alive. That was one hell of a ride in that building. And then, you just disappeared. We need to talk. It's about the GRE database you're looking for. I finally found something concrete. Waiting for you on the ship. Thanks, Jack. I'll meet you in your quarters as soon as I can. Luan? Luan, you there? Hmm. <laughs> Luan, come on, you hear me? Just let me know you're okay. Ugh. <sighs> 